some of you might have gotten this DVD writer for your Mac or for your netbooks. Very common to get these for your netbooks. Um, in my case, for my iMac, since yesterday was the first CD that actually got stuck in there, so I don't want that to happen again. Don't want to run the risk anyway, so that's why I got this external one. It's extremely light, you might have noticed that. So we're just going to hook it up. Now this would go into the back of your Mac. Um, okay. So it's hooked up. Now you got a CD that came with with your stuff from your DVD writer. Okay. Um, as you can see here, it just says uh, the manual and you've got software for Windows which is useless for Mac. So, I'm just going to open this up. Put in a blank CD. Well, DVD in this case. Gonna put it in. And we're going to go to Finder. As you can see, you got this window already. It says um, you inserted a blank DVD. So we're just going to click on OK to open Finder. So right here you can see your DVD. You're just going to click on that, open it up. Okay, and then I'll take it. It's all straight forward from here. Okay, so we inserted our DVD. And if you guys didn't get that window popping up, you can always go to Finder and just find it here, your DVD. Uh, if you don't find it like that, just go to Disk Utility. So you can type it up here, Disk Utility. Go into it and you're gonna see your DVD drive, okay, the super drive for this one right here would be it, okay? So I'm just gonna close this for now, since it should work right away. So you have this open, your untitled DVD. I'm gonna close this other finder window, we don't really need it, okay? So basically to bring your, um, your movie on it, so right now we're just gonna choose Cabin in the Woods, I have that one already. We are gonna burn the Amazing Spider-Man. Okay, so we're just gonna drag and drop it. Okay, or you can copy and paste it, so just right click. And you wanna copy, and then right click on this, and you wanna paste it. It'll give you the option to paste it. Um, or Command C, Command V, V as in Victor, to paste on your DVD. So once you have that, just click on burn right here on your corner. Okay, so it gives you your options. Um, so that's your max speed. I would always choose 8, not slower. Depends if you have a really old DVD player, you might want to choose something slower. Besides that, just burn it as fast as you, as you can. The title you can change it to whatever you like. I'm just going to leave it as is and put burn. So there you go. Um, as you can see, we don't need any software for our DVD writer, Samsung DVD writer, to work with our Mac. It works right away. Um, if you guys do need some drivers for it, you can always go to samsung.com, look up the DVD, and download some drivers for it. You probably won't need them. Um, a lot of things that are compatible with Mac do not need any drivers or software for that matter. As you can see, I don't need any software to burn this DVD. Um, I do have a video. If you don't have a AVI video, uh, it needs to be AVI or MP4 in order to play in your DVD player. So if you guys don't have that type of movie, you have a MKV or M4V file. Um, I have a video to showing you how to convert that pretty much for free, um, so you guys can actually burn it on a DVD player. Um, it can actually work on the DVD player. I mean, so just keep up with that. If you guys need any any help or uh, any questions about this DVD player, um, DVD writer, I mean. Uh, just write down here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate and once again I just I just got this DVD 
writer so if anything goes wrong with it in over a year or whenever you guys can see when I made this video if, uh, if you guys have any questions like it didn't work or I will be editing this if it breaks down for any reason I will edit my video or just read the comments and don't forget to read the re description I will probably just put it there if it uh, something happened to it, it didn't work or uh, I stopped working after I burnt 50 DVDs I don't know something like that I'll probably write it down there or just make another video so just keep up with that and that's it for now guys if you guys have any questions don't don't hesitate to write your comments right here and please don't forget to rate and subscribe thank you